Welcome to Chef Sheila. In this cooking video, I will show you how to make a simplified version of chicken biryani. This dish is very special to me as I learned this recipe from my Indian classmate when we were studying in London. Hi Anupama! Thank you for sharing this recipe with me. Let's start with basmati rice. Wash the rice with water. Swirl your hands through the rice and water. As you can see, it's cloudy. That's all the starch we are trying to remove in order to have a perfect individual grains of rice and not sticky. Let's pour up the water from the rice. I'm gonna add water again and soak the basmati rice in water for 30 minutes. This method will help reduce the cooking time as it will allow the rice to expand into long grains and the cooked rice will be soft and fluffy. Let's start marinating our chicken. I'm going to use chicken Thai filet because they are easy to cook, they have more fats and keeps the meat moist in the dish. I have Greek yogurt here. I prefer using this than the regular yogurt because this is creamy, thick and will coat the chicken perfectly. Let's put the chili powder, about one teaspoon. Turmeric, one teaspoon of turmeric as well, and ground coriander. Give it a good stir. And this will be our flavor base for the biryani. Let's cut the chicken into bite-sized pieces. Let's add our chicken to the yogurt. Mix it really well to make sure the marination spread evenly. If you notice, I didn't put salt in my marination as it will dry out the meat. Always remember, when marinating any type of meat, hold up the salt and just use it before cooking. So I'm going to chill this in the fridge and marinate it for 30 minutes or overnight is great. Let's go back with our basmati rice. Going to drain the water again. Let's fill the saucepan with water. We're going to put a little bit of salt. Mix it well. Let's start cooking our basmati rice. Turn on the low heat. And then cover it and simmer it for 15 to 18 minutes. It's time to check if our basmati rice is cooked. Mm, it's perfectly cooked. Now it's time for 10 minutes covered. It will give the rice time to firm up and so rice won't break while you stir. While we're cooling down our basmati rice, let's start cooking the chicken biryani. But first, Let's soak the saffron in milk. Just use a pinch of saffron. Don't put too much because it has strong flavor and it can ruin the dish. Just give it a good stir. And we're gonna set this aside and we will use it for later. So heat the pan over low heat. I'm gonna put about two to three tablespoons of sunflower oil. So I'm going to put some cloves and cardamom pods, about three pieces. I'm putting garam masala, turmeric powder, coriander, chili powder, and ground cumin. Give it a good stir and fry it for a few seconds. Frying your spices gives them a fresher, brighter taste and aroma. And this is the quicker way to extract flavors from the spices. I'm ready to add my sliced onions. Continue cooking them until they are softened and brown. Probably it will take five to eight minutes. I'm 
My onions are softened. I'm going to put two tablespoons of butter. Mix it. Let's add the sliced tomatoes and green chili. Give it a good stir again and cook the tomatoes for about 3 to 5 minutes or until they are mushy. So my tomatoes are starting to become mushy. Using the back of the spoon, start mashing your tomatoes. Lower the heat, very low heat. I'm going to put tomato paste. The tomato paste will help thicken the sauce and will give our biryani a vibrant color. Stir it really well and cook it for three to five minutes until they are well blended. Now, the heart of Indian cooking. I'm going to put my ginger garlic paste, about one tablespoon. I'm going to add cinnamon stick, just one. I prefer using cinnamon stick than cinnamon powder because the flavor of this is not that strong and the flavor stays longer. Just gonna put it there. Mix it really well. Stir them well together so that all the flavors are really well blended. Now let's put our chicken that we marinated a while ago. And as you can see, the Greek yogurt didn't split up. I just put it everything there. Season it really well with salt. Increase the heat to medium. Just continue stirring them together. I'm going to cover it and simmer it for 8 to 10 minutes. So this is our cooked basmati rice. I'm going to fluff up the rice using fork. Always remember, don't fluff up the rice while it's really, really hot because it's going to be sticky and you want that individual grains of rice. So just fluff it up slowly. Look how it's perfectly cooked. Now I'm going to transfer the rice into a bowl or any serving dish. Going back to our chicken, going to remove the cover. As you can see, the chicken is perfectly cooked. Spread the chicken evenly. We're going to start layering our basmati rice. And at this stage, we're going to turn off the heat. So let's put the basmati rice on top of the chicken. So this is our first layer. Just spread it all over the pan. This is our saffron soaked in milk. It will give a lovely color in our rice. Just spread it all over. Don't forget to season the rice with salt. Just season it lightly. Chopped coriander. And some chopped mint. Not too much, just a little. And some fried red onions. And a pinch of garam masala. I'm doing the second layer of biryani. Same procedure. Fry the rice evenly. Saffron milk. Season it again with salt. Chopped coriander, chopped meat, fried red onions, and a pinch of garam masala. At this stage, I'm going to turn in the heat, cover it, and we're going to cook it for 5 to 8 minutes. 
So while we're waiting for our chicken biryani, let's start preparing our raita. Raita is a delicious side dish of chicken biryani and also it cuts the heat of spicy dishes. So we're just going to mix everything. Greek yogurt, chopped cucumber, chopped meat, give it a good stir, some cumin powder, and season it really well with salt. Mix them well. Then set it aside for later. I'm going to turn off the heat. I'm going to transfer the biryani into my serving plate. I'm just going to garnish it with some fried onions, putting some mint leaves on top, just to garnish it. As you can see, the chicken biryani has different colors. We have yellow, green, and white, which is lovely. And the biryani smells really delicious. But before I share it with you, I'm going to try it for myself. Mmm, it's really delicious. All the flavors come together and the raita is awesome. It cuts the heat of the biryani and makes it more refreshing. Hope you enjoyed my recipe and check out my website for easy and exciting recipes.